I'm just picking random cells, but I'm just kind of um, giving you the idea of what you can do. All right. And then, you know, I can hit enter. And there we have an error. So let's find out where our error is. See, product plus the sum. And you see our error right here. I put equals. I already did. I already opened it with the equal sign. So by my mistake, you're just learning a little bit more. I should have put a plus or minus symbol there, or or division. All right, and there we have a result. <clears throat> so uh, just for my mistake, one thing that you learned is when you're doing a formula, you you open up the uh, formula with the equal sign in the beginning. You don't need to continue typing it every time you do a um, a new function or formula inside of the overall formula. And I knew that I just, it was out of habit, I typed it. All right, so that's a basic um, introduction to formulas. Now um, I can, I'll go ahead and delete all this content. Now you can see how I clear all the content here. I'm gonna go to the home tab. There's a button up here, it's clear. And I can just hit clear all. That's going to clear everything. It's going to clear all formatting right here where I have the yellow fill. I clear all. It clears all formatting, all formulas, um, and all content, whether it's text, numeric values, or formulas, like I said. All right. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of winging this a little bit, but let's uh, go ahead and create a, um, a sales forecast. And I did a 2010 version, so I'll kind of um, go off of that. Let's say we have a... Um, a sports craft rental company and we rent out pontoon boats, jet skis, and kayaks. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to enter in the different types of items that I rent out. Pontoon boat and I just click in the cell and then I can click the down arrow and I'll put jet skis and then kayaks okay okay let's say our season runs from April or March to October March so I type in here the first cell I type in March now what I'm gonna do is use the autofill feature and Excel recognizes that the word March is a month and it also knows the pattern it knows what uh, it knows what months follow each other so all I have to do is I select the cell where I typed in March and right here you can see there's a little box. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. There's a box right here. I just put my uh, cursor over the corner and I can drag March, April, May, June, July, August. Let's just go to August to make this more simple. All right, and you can see that automatic using the autofill feature automatically dragged those over. Okay. Now we're going to resize the cell. As you can see, the pont right here where it says pontoon boat in cell C4, that's the address of that cell, cell C4. It says pontoon boat, but it doesn't fit in the cell. It's, the word's too uh, long. So I can go in here. I can resize the cell by holding my cursor directly over the uh, line right here, and I can double-click. And it automatically resizes it, the cell, to fit to a perfect fit for that word. Another way is I can just hold my mouse over there and I can resize it. Or I can go here in the format cells command. There's the cells group, the format command. I can come down and you have auto fit column which would auto fit it as well. And there's up here there's a bunch of different function, um, different commands for your cells. But that's the kind of stuff you're just going to have to explore with on your own and learn. This is a quick crash course to get you familiar with Excel. Okay. Now down here I'm going to type in, I'm going to show you how to copy and paste cells. You can copy and paste cells. So I'm going to select these cells. And up here in the clipboard, I'm going to copy. You can also press Control C. And then down here, I'm going to move that range of cells that I just copied and I can click paste. You can also hit control V. The reason I'm doing this is because 
I'm going to have a, uh, in this little air, this little table right here, I'm going to list the price per hours that I charge to rent the pontoon boat. So let's say I charge $100 an hour. Let's say for jet skis, um, I do 80 and for kayaks, 15. All right. Okay, over here, let's add another column. That's going to be our total. And the same down here, totals. <clears throat> now I'm going to use formulas. Okay, let's just say in March that we plan on getting a total, and I'm just making these numbers out, numbers out up out of nowhere but let's say we can rent out uh, we can get um, 30 hours we can rent pontoon we can get 30 hour pontoon boat rental we can rent our pontoon boats out for 30 hours for the month of March so I'm gonna just hit equals I like to put my formulas in parentheses I mean in, in uh, uh, quotations star and then what I say 30 30 Okay. I could also create another table with the assumptions of hours um, for each month, but I'm just going to go ahead and type them in. All right. <clears throat> now here for jet skis, we'll just use the same. We're referring to our price, we'll say 30 hours again. And then for kayaks. Let's say we'll just use the 30. It doesn't matter how you do it. I can put 30 and then refer down to the price per hour. Okay. Now, this is going to be our total revenues. So I can go ahead and rename this. I double, just double clicked in there. Rev not revenues. Revenues. Now we got to resize the cell again. Double click. Okay equals sum of the revenues for each rental. Okay, <clears throat> now to make this more simple, instead of me having to go in and manually type hours, let's just assume that there's going to be a 15% increase each month. So what I'm going to do is this cell times 1.15 and that what that is uh, it's gonna be 3,000 times 1.15 is gonna be a 15 percent increase okay obviously if this is a real scenario I'd be putting a lot more detail and analysis into how many hours I build to rent out but this is we're learning Excel here all right now I can use the autofill feature again and it's gonna copy that formula all the way over to here but we're not going to take it in the total because we're going to use a different formula there and then we can also drag this down and those are all increased by 15 percent now we can use the autofill fe feature again and drag these formulas down until we hit August our last month of the season and the same thing here okay and we can do this again with our sum formula. We can drag it all the way down. And then we'll use the same sum formula here. It's going to give us the same, going to give us the uh, total results for pontoon boats throughout the season. We're going to do the sum. Okay. And then we can drag this all the way down here. And our total revenues, this is what this cell right here would be for the entire season. We could either do the sum of our totals here, or we could do the sum of our totals here, and the results would be the same. Okay, so now let's do some formatting 
We've, uh, we've done data entry, now let's do some formatting. 